years of ceremony this evening. Certainly a young lady who is no stranger um, to many of us. She is an avid community leader, worker, a service-guided individual. Barbara Blake Moss is one of two children of the late Reverend Herbert and Ruffle Commodore Blake. And her belief is that life should be lived focusing on how productive, how humane, and unselfish motives build relationships to foster a positive world. Ms. Barbara Moss has been working for 44 years in the Charleston community or Charleston County school system, and she has demonstrated her philosophy in her advocation and vocation. And she's married to James Moss, and the couple has four children and 11 grandchildren. Barbara indicates that every opportunity becomes an opportunity to connect with others, and she never allows moments to pass. So here, I introduce to you some new for the first time, our mistress of ceremony this evening, Barbara Blake Moss. Thank you, Mrs. Jackson. Wonderfully done. Beautiful voice, and isn't she not pretty? <laughs> she certainly is. Now, Deirdre stole my line because she got up and said, Oh, how pretty y'all look. Oh, guess what? She wasn't supposed to say that. All she was supposed to do was get up and welcome you because my line was going to be, How pretty you all look. But I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is, even the stars of the universe are not like what you look like today. This evening you are just fantastic, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and I'm not going to give any other adjective because most of you are hungry. <laughs> when the hors d'oeuvres came, some of us wanted to eat four pieces of food that we couldn't do that because we are in a setting that says we are to be polite, cute,
of New Horizons Counseling Services. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for this initiative. We thank you for your continued blessings. We thank you for the insight, for the creativity, for the capacity and the ability that you've endowed Dr. Dietro Ross Pinckney as the executive director of this organization, along with her staff and the board of directors. We pray as uh, this undertaking go forward, we ask your continued uh, blessings on her and those that serve with her. We pray you cause mighty things to happen with this work that has been initiated. We thank you for all those who are part of this gathering today and those who want to be here and care for one reason or another. We dedicate this now to your glory. We pray that all is done and said here today and beyond today. We first bring glory to you. Lift up the name of Jesus and be a blessing to this communities and the communities that are served. Thank you for that which is being provided. For the nourishments of our bodies. Pray that as that is consumed, we thank you for the appetite. Usually ask the nourishment that your people continue to serve you in health, in spirit, and in truth. Hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus the Christ, people of God come together and say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. And Mr. Carl, our saxophonist, are you ready now, sir? I'm ready.
from the Georgia House of Representatives. Let's give a round of Good evening. I'm going to try that one more time. Good evening. Good evening. So if I sound like I'm too high, I am. That was a joke. Sick. Thank you. 